the arrival of a swarm of Mormon crickets can be devastating for farmers in western North America. When millions of these crickets march through an area, they'll eat crops and almost anything that crosses their path, even including each other. They're driven to this behaviour when their population suddenly increases and there isn't enough food to satisfy them all. But researchers have discovered that it's specifically a lack of two nutrients, salt and protein, that make them swarm. The best source of these nutrients is each other, and recent research has found that they march so they don't get eaten. The crickets at the front eat all the available food and then move forward to escape the jaws of the insects behind. The net result is mass migration. Here's a video from one of the team's experiments with Mormon crickets. Pieces of cotton wool soaked with water and with different concentrations of salt were placed on a cattle trail in the path of a band of marching crickets. The clear favourite was the water with a 0.25 salt concentration, the same concentration found in the crickets' own tissues. Although the water dish attracted the fewest crickets, many of them also avoided the water that had a high concentration of salt. Another experiment involved a similar setup, but looked at whether the crickets preferred protein or carbohydrates. Dishes containing foods with different amounts of carbohydrates and proteins were placed in front of the insects as they marched by. Diet O contained neither protein nor carbohydrates. Diet P was full of protein, Diet C carbohydrates, and Diet PC had 21% of both nutrients. The crickets clearly preferred the protein diets, and there were often up to 13 crickets fighting over the protein snack at any one time. For hungry crickets though, any protein will do. This jackrabbit has been dead for less than 12 hours, but the hungry crickets have already devoured most of its ears.